Hey guys, it's Bella and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be testing out sports girl makeup. So I went in, I literally was just chucking everything into my basket. Well, they didn't even have baskets. I was just chucking it into Carrie's arms. And I bought every single thing that they have, every makeup product. I bought brushes the whole shebang I got it all and um, it actually only cost me just over $200 I think that's a really good price to buy everything from a range of makeup including brushes like if you were to buy that from hourglass oh my god it would be like a thousand dollars so I think this is an affordable brand I will include all of the prices in the description down below now I'm gonna test it out tell you what I think is good what is worth it what you should go and buy what you should test out um, putting it on my face so that you guys don't have to spend the money and yeah, if you guys are interested in that video, then let's go ahead and get started. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy, and yeah, let's do it. Okay, so as you can probably tell, I have already filled in my eyebrows because just nowhere, like hardly any places have an eyebrow shade that matches me. Um, and they didn't have anything close to my eyebrow color, so I just had to do them myself. So now I'm gonna start on my eyes, and I have this primer here. It is called Time to Prime Eye Primer. primer gets nice and tacky which I like the only thing I don't like is that it's clear but that's just personal preference because I always use concealer so that I can cover up my veins and discoloration now I'm gonna use the blend and oh it's like my eyes are sticking together <laughs> um, then I'm gonna use the blend and sculpt contour and highlight palette and I'm going to use this just pale shade here to set my eyes I also got some brushes from sports girl but I don't think they're gonna be enough to do my entire makeup oh they smell really bad it smells like paint so first things first I have two eyeshadow palettes here and the eyeshadow palettes are actually so pretty uh, the names are a little bit cringe we have Bay lit squad by Felicia <laughs> and then I have this one here and this one I don't have the Kylie bronze palette anymore but I'm pretty sure this reminds me a lot of it so I think I'm gonna use this one here today I'm gonna start off with damn Gina <laughs> This shade, damn Gina, is so far really pigmented and it's blending out really well. Now I'm going to take this shade here which is called Squad. Pretty much doing the same thing as I did with the last shade but I'm going to put it a little bit lower to kind of make it a gradient. And then I'm going to grab this dark brown here, this is called Intense, and I'm just going to deepen the outer V's in my eyes. Okay, so now I have, these are called metallic moments, and you can basically use these for everything. It says you can use it as a highlighter, illuminator, eyeliner, eyeshadow, nail polish, body shimmer, and hair highlight. So they are just like everything in one. I wanted to use them as eyeliner today, but now I kind of feel like my eye got a little too dark to be able to use this as an eyeliner. So instead, I think I'm just going to take this and use it as my, like, eyeshadow to go on my eyelids this one is it doesn't have a shade it's just part of the metallic moments set of four metallic shimmer powders I'm just gonna use that flat eye blend brush this is um, from sports girl I 
it's so pretty. Oh wow, it's gorgeous. Right here, I want to see what happens if I wet it. It says that it turns into an eyeliner if you wet it, but I'm just going to spray my brush with a little bit of the All Day Spray. This is the Rose Water Infused Makeup Setting Spray. Oh my goodness, it's even more stunning with the water. I also picked up some eyeliner and I'm definitely going to try this out because I just want to try like every single product that I bought. So I just bought a black one and it came with this little eyeliner brush here, which looks pretty thin, so... Nothing's happening. <laughs> Okay, so that did not end up being easy, and I don't like that eyeliner at all. This is the best I could do. I'm not going to try and fix it up because it was just so hard, and the eyeliner just wasn't working. It was really sheer, and it wasn't picking up enough product on the brush. No matter how much I swelled it in and how much product went on the brush, it still like wasn't applying to the eyes, and it just applied really weirdly, like not like my other gel eyeliners. They're really black and they go on really well and smoothly, but this wasn't smooth and it was just so hard to apply. Um, but anyway, I'm going to tight line now and I'm using the Draw the Line Eyeliner. Wow, that is pigmented. <gasps> wow we That is incredible. Um, now I'm going to go on to my eyelashes. So first I'm just going to curl them. Oh my god, it pulled my eyelashes out. <sighs> and this is the mascara. It's called the Wink Big Fiber Lash Mascara. Can you guys see all of the little hairs coming off of the brush? It's really dry. My eyelashes are great. Do you guys see that? The brush looks so... It just looks gross because of all the little things coming off. Like, like it looks like a spider. Ow. Oh my god, I just got something in my eye and it like is burning. <sighs> so, I found they also have false eyelashes. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really like the look of the false eyelashes. They're not something that I would really wear. I think I'm gonna try out this top pair here, which is called Oh Hey. Oh Hey. I forgot to get a primer. I thought that this was the primer, but turns out this is a lip primer. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'm just gonna use this setting spray, I guess, to prime my face. Oh, fucking... What? Oh my gosh! <laughs> um, and then for foundation, I have the Face Base Foundation. Which, oh, it's vegan friendly, that's cool. Um, I have the shade Medium. The only shitty thing about their foundation is they literally only had three. <laughs> Blended and they have the Beauty Blender. Um, do they call it a beauty one? It's a precise sponge and I already know this is going to be so shit. I wish you guys could feel it. It is the hardest thing I have ever felt. It's like a friggin' brick blender. Oh my god. I hate, I hate this so much. What the hell? You know what it feels like? It feels like those little balls that you play handball with. You know the little like rubber balls that you get in all different colors and stuff and like they're so much fun as a kid or even now they're probably fun but like that I can't. I really like the finish of the foundation though. It's so dewy. It's really nice. I would definitely use this foundation again. Let me just oh, get in real close. Hey guys. And the brush is actually doing a really good job of blending it in. Like, it's not streaky or anything at all. Wow, I love this foundation. It has, like, such a beautiful dewy finish. It looks so natural. It has a really nice amount of coverage. Like, my freckles show through, but it doesn't make my freckles look washed out. That's why I always wear full coverages, because normally foundations make my freckles look washed out, but they don't look washed out. Um... 
my skin just looks like so healthy okay now for concealer they have this little um, conceal and contour stick it's the double trouble contour one duo and I'm pretty sure they only had one shade because I was looking for like a lighter shade but they didn't have one but now that I look at it I don't think that I need a lighter shade <laughs> it just looks like really dark like in the packaging oh, it's so bad I mean, it blended it out, but painfully. I actually feel like I'm using a rubber ball on my face right now. Okay, so I'm not the best at judging concealers because most concealers all seem the same to me, but I will say that it's very, very hydrating on the eyes. Like, it almost feels like moisturizing. I don't know how to explain it. Like, it feels like it's helping my under eyes. Like, it feels like an eye cream, as weird as that sounds. But obviously, like, a thicker eye cream. Like, not a really liquidy one. <laughs> um, the other side is a contour. So, I'm just gonna test that out, see what happens. Oh my, it's like, okay. Can you even see that? <laughs> Do you guys hear that? Do you hear how hard it is? I feel like the contour got darker, like it oxidized a little bit. So at the sports girl that I went to, they didn't have any loose powders or any face powders for that matter. I don't know if they were sold out or what the deal was. So I'm just gonna have to use um, that shade to set just my entire face, I guess. Setting at your under eyes is honestly the most satisfying part of doing your makeup. Like it just makes such a huge difference. Oh wait, before I set my face, hold on, I have an illuminator. So this is a liquid illuminator. Um, it's called Pretty Cheeky and it looks stunning. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's, oh my goodness, it's stunning, seriously. And I'm just gonna stare at it because it's gorgeous. Set my hair too while I'm at it. Okay, so now I have the um, Bronze Me Up Bronzing Powder, which is ginormous and looks extremely dark, but I stay hopeful because everything else so far has gone really well. And I'm going to use the Sports Girl Bronze Brush. I just feel like everything is gonna look good right now because the foundation is just so good that my skin looks amazing so I feel like everything <laughs> is gonna look amazing. The bronzer is looking really pretty. It blends out really well and it just looks so seamless on the face and I feel like it's really hard to go overboard because I thought I went overboard on my forehead here because I literally went like that, didn't tap it off and just patted it on my face but it still looks good really really nice with the blend and sculpt palette i'm gonna take the contour shade right here which is called contour and then i'm gonna take this palette which is called the weekend edit blush and bronze palette i have the shade peach here and i'm gonna use this shade to Blush my cheeks. The thing I'm liking about sports girl makeup is I feel like everything just blends out so seamlessly. Like you can't tell where one product starts and one product ends. Like you can't tell where the, br the blush starts and then where the bronzer starts. You know what I mean? Like it all blends together really well beautifully so now i'm gonna highlight my skin i'm going to use the on the glow illuminator palette which looks like this um and i think i'm gonna take a mixture of this shade here and that one up there so these two oh gosh Better than a lot of high-end highlighters I've tried for sure. Okay, I'm gonna finish off the eyes now. I'm gonna get the Draw the Line eyeliner and I'm gonna put this in my waterline, which is 
so pigmented and black. Then I'm going to take a wrong one. Then I'm going to take a mixture of Damn Gina and Squad for my lower lashes. My lower lash line, not the lashes themselves. Okay, let's try out this lip primer. Oh, interesting. Feels like a velvet. And then I also bought two liquid lips. Oh, they're called Lip Chalk um, Matte Lip Cream. And I have the shade Brownie and I have the shade Sandstorm. I actually think I might mix them together. So I'm going to go in with Brownie first. Oh my goodness, it's... Oh, it smells so freaking good. I actually want to lick it right now. This is actually the best hands down uh, I kind of fucked that up a little bit <laughs> Best smelling lipstick I've ever used. Okay, so the color is really nice um, and the smells incredible It is pretty dry But it's also matte. I feel like all matte lipsticks ever are dry. I'm just gonna go in with this one on top This is called sandstorm da -da 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 -da. Da, 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 da. I like this lip color. I just don't think I like the lip color with the eye look. Like, I feel like the eyes are just way too bronze for this. So, I think that I'm going to take it off and just add Sandstorm. And then I'm just going to go back in with the setting spray. Ugh. Fuck, it's so intense. And it sprays out little droplets as well, so it's not like a fine mist. So that brings us to the end of the video. This is the final look, and I can honestly say sports girl makeup is amazing. The only thing that I didn't like is this. I just feel like the way that it sprays is way too intense, and it also sprays out little droplets, so you just get like little dots of just the stuff that you can see really well everywhere. So it doesn't, like, it just is not a good way to finish your makeup. It kind of like... You're like, oh, I'm going to set my makeup, but no, you're actually going to ruin your makeup. <laughs> but other than that, I really, really loved everything else. The foundation is incredible. The highlighter, the lips, I will say they do feel the tiniest bit dry, but compared to like a normal liquid lipstick, like this feels better than an Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick. Like it's way more comfortable than an Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick. Okay, it's nine o'clock. It has been four hours and I am about to go have a shower, take my makeup off. So so I'm checking in with you guys, showing you how everything looks, and damn, I'm thinking it's looking pretty good. <laughs> Honestly, it's holding up so well. My lipstick's still on, and I've eaten. By the way, I ate some toast. Um, I will say I'm a little bit shiny, and I don't have oily skin. Uh, it is a very dewy foundation, as I said when I was putting it on. It's really dewy. So yeah, I definitely think that like maybe you would need to touch that up. It would be great for dry skin, but if not, touch-ups are fine. I have normal skin and it's still showing up a little bit shiny on me. But other than that, I think everything looks great. Like I would, I, I honestly don't even feel like I would need to touch this up. I feel fine. I just feel dewy. I feel glowy. Get right up in here. Hey guys. How's it looking? <laughs> so testing out sports girl makeup was a huge success for me. I think that the products hold up really well. I really like everything that I tried aside from, you know, what I told you that I didn't like the two products. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up for me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hopefully I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh, oh yeah.